All right, guys, once again, a very big welcome to Penax TV. So yesterday uh, was the 94th uh, Oscars, uh, perhaps the 94th time that it, it was being organized, and we saw what went on on stage. If you had not seen our earlier broadcast or what is trending on social media, on all platforms, perhaps you need to catch a glimpse. But we'll be playing some excerpts, or we'll be showing some footages uh, as this particular uh, news or perhaps content unfold right on your screens. Now, the whole big news here is... Will Smith attacked Chris Rock on stage. And that was not planned because Oscars have come out to give their version of the story, saying that uh, after investigation, they found out this was not pre-planned. This was not um, scripted. It was not any sketch. And they realized Tempest had flew a little higher after uh, Chris Rock's joke on Jada Pinkett Smith, who happens to be the wife of Will Smith. And that did not obviously go on well with Will Smith. Apparently, Will Smith laughed at the joke, but when he turned on to uh, his wife, that's uh, Jada Pinkin Smith, uh, Chris, Will Smith realized that everybody was laughing, but Jada was really angry. That was when Will Smith got up and perhaps smacked the hell out of uh, Chris Rock on live stage, and that was really awful. That was one of the low moments in the history of Oscars, and people are saying, regardless the fan, regardless the joke, you need to know how to react. Perhaps you need to man up or zip up. You don't just react. Um, perhaps one of the big questions somebody posted earlier on Twitter today was, I'm imagining if it was 50 cents on stage, <laughs> that, would have been, that would have been a serious, I mean, bounce or blow for blow fight. And thank God it didn't turn out that way. So the big question apparently to the title of this particular video I'm watching is, has... Chris Rock filed a police co uh, complaint. Well, currently, as I'm speaking to you now, the Los Angeles Police Department later today released a statement, and they are saying that Chris Rock had declined to file a police report following the event. Now, um, I know this perhaps is going to pierce through your heart, and people are going to come like, oh, I knew it. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Or perhaps it was a stunt. It was all scripted to make the Oscars uh, the low, perhaps, rating Oscars currently now because of I mean, what is coming out shows that perhaps the whole ratings have dropped significantly over the past year. So this was all scripted to perhaps uh, give an uprise or a facelift to the Oscars. But this is no joke because apparently from the insiders, uh, according to what they are seeing, it has been revealed that this is nothing but a real thing that really happened. Now, according to the Los, Los Angeles Police Department, uh, they told the ne local newspaper outlet that Rock, Chris Rock, that's the comedian, had declined to file a police report following the event. Now, after this, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, which organizes the Oscars, again tweeted that it does not condone violence of any form. Quotes. Now, again, they went on to say, here at the Adobe uh, Theater in Los Angeles, there was a short reaction from journalists to Smith's run-in with Rock. Apparently, while the thing was going on, there were live interviews on the red carpet, and uh, quickly, the whole thing just Everybody's attention just shifted that what the hell happened on stage. Reporters had been talking, had been taking part in a traditional backstage press conference where the winners come to answer questions after delivering their acceptance speeches. But attention sadly thanked to our overhead screens where and what was going on at the ceremony as it became clear something serious was kicking off. At first, it had seemed like a joke or some kind of a setup. Smith even appeared to laugh at first after Rock delivered his line about his wife looking like a G.I. Jane. Jada looked annoying, but at this point, it was still assumed this was all part of some kind of a pre-planned routine. Doubts began to creep in when uh, Smith rose from his seat and hit Rock on stage. Of course, both of these guys are veterans. Of films and television, and would know how to carry out a fake stage slap, except everyone was starting to think it did not look that fake. By at that time, Smith was sitting back in his seat and shouting to Rock, Keep my wife's name out of your F mouth. It was clear this was no sketch. A professional like Will Smith would know better to drop the F bomb on stage during the live TV broadcast. Viewers at home didn't hear that the swearing broadcast network ABC had cut the live feed to avoid offending viewers at home. Throughout the altercation, there was a complete silence in the winner's room. Academy staffers looked just as shocked as the journalists did. I thought they were doing a bit, one said to his colleague. Rock, meanwhile, looked visibly shaking, but realizing 
He did make he did just made Oscar's history. He made light of the situation comments, and that was the greatest night in the history of television, he said. Much like previous Oscars that were defined by their viral moments, such as Ellen's group selfie or the best picture Vina makes up in 2017, this will now forever be the Oscars where Jada or Will Smith punched Chris Rock. Now, Pinkett, Jada Pinkett Smith first talked about her hair loss struggle in an episode on a Facebook chat show, Red Table Talk, back in 2018. She said, I've been having issues with the hair loss and was terrifying when it started, when it first started. The girl strip star said she first suspected she had uh, alopecia after handfuls of hair, which after handfuls of hair came loose in the shower. It was just like, oh my God, I'm going, am I going bad? It was one of those things in my life where I was literally shaking with fear, she explained. That, that's why I cut my hair and continued to cut it. After the incident, Rock handed over the best documentary prize, which was the reason he was on stage. According to the Hollywood reporter Scott Finbank, Finbank a tearful Smith needed to pull aside and call needed to be pulled aside and comforted by Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry during an advert break. Presenting the next session, Sean Diddy comes said, Will and Chris, we are going to solve that like family. Right now, we are moving on with love. It was not the first time Rock had made a joke about Pinker Smith at Academy Awards. He hosted the 2016 event when she was among the stars who boycotted the ceremony due to lack of diversity in the in nominations. That, that year, he said, Jada Pinkett Smith boycotting the Oscars like me boycotting Rihanna Pandis. I wasn't invited. Other winners of Saturday's ceremony included Jessica Chastain, uh, who picked out the best actress for the eyes of the Femi uh, Jane Campion, who won the best director for The Power of the Dog, the Apple TV film Coda, which was named the best picture. Best supporting actress went to Ariana Dembos for West Side Story, while Troy Costa won best supporting actor for Coda, uh, which also picked out the best adapted screenplay. Sci-Fi Epic Dune won a six awards in total, including best uh, technical categories, including best visual effects and best cinematography. Um, currently, Richard Williamson was a fierce defender of the family, and we all saw that in the film. But currently, um, this was what um, uh, really went on on stage. Now, I'm being called on in my life to love people, and I know, uh, so this, this is exactly what I was made said in the movie now richard williams was a fierce defender of his family which who happens to uh was me having to play the father of venice and uh serena in the film that he won the oscars in this in this time of my life in this moment i'm overwhelmed by what god is calling on me to do and be in this world making this film i got to protect uh Ojen ellis who is one of the best strongest most delicate people i've ever met i got to protect senior or sydney and the two actresses who played Venice and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. I know what to do. When what I know what to do, what we do. You've got uh, to be. You've got to be able to take abuse. You've got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you've got to be able to have people disrespect you. And you've got to have a smile. You've got to pretend like it's okay. That's what I was. Then the Washington said to me in a, 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 in, in, to me a few moments ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes to you. I want to be a vessel for love. I want to say thank you to Venice and Serena and Ty Williams family for entrusting me with your story. That's what I want to do. I want to be the ambassador of, of that kind of love and care and concern. I want to apologize to the Academy I want to apologize to all my fellow nominees that this is a beautiful moment and I'm not crying for winning an award. It's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine a light on all the people. Uh, team White producer, Trevor White producer, and perhaps all the others who were involved in the entire movie. Art imitates life. I look like a crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williamson. Uh, but love will make you do crazy things. And my mother, a lot of this moment is really complicated for me. But to my mother, she didn't want she didn't want to come out. She had been knitting crew uh, who she's uh, who she's in Philly watching with, being able to be able to take care of my mother, my family, my wife. I'm taking up to I'm taking up too much time. Thank you for this, Anna. Thank you for the moment, and thank you on behalf of Richard and uh, Rasin and the entire Williams family. Thank you. I hope the Academy invites me back once again. Apparently, this 
is what really happened. I've given you a breakdown of what really happened. Um, perhaps to give you more updates, this was a very sad event. So currently, we are certain that Chris Rock has denied to file a police con uh, uh, complaint. And apparently, Tyler Perry and Denzel Washington have also reacted to the issue, saying that this was something which was really bad, but they are going to solve this like a family, just like what all the black people in the industry are. I'll give you more updates um, as all of these various events unfold.